Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I was going to share one of my final projects with you guys. So this is my final project for my Shakespearean Tragedies class. So for my project, I decided that I was going to recreate Elizabethan era makeup to show exactly what it would have looked like back in Shakespeare's time. So in Shakespeare's time, generally women wanted to be pale because that showed that you had more money. Like royalty, they weren't out in the fields working, they weren't outdoors working, so generally they had paler skin. And then the women that actually had jobs, they were in the lower classes and they had to be out working, they would have a much darker skin because they were out in the sun. So generally the makeup that women would go for would be very light, white, pale makeup. And then this really white makeup was also used to cover up smallpox scarring and aging. So the most popular face makeup of this time was called Ceruse and it was made of white lead and vinegar and it actually made women bleed. It was very poisonous, very bad for you. And then expensive dyes such as cochineal, madder, and vermilion were used to darken the lips and the cheeks. Generally in the Elizabethan era, um, the upper class would wear wigs, so for this instance my hair is pulled back because that is how they would have worn their hair before the wig. And they also used coal to darken their eyelashes. So a lot of those ingredients are very bad for you. So today I will be recreating Elizabethan era makeup using modern day makeup and see if we can achieve the same effect. So first and foremost I went out and I got the two like widest face makeup I could find. Um, this is the Maybelline in 110 Porcelain and then this is an HD powder by e.l.f. which when you cake it on it's white. First I'm going to go in with the liquid foundation and I'm going to use this makeup sponge called a beauty blender and I'm just gonna put this all over my face and see if I come out paler. This is not quite as white as I wanted to go, so I'm going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, which is a very white concealer, and just try to lighten it up some more. Now I feel like, compared to what I was before, I'm pretty white. Into the e.l.f. setting powder, and... Or actually it came with a little puff. Maybe we'll use the puff. We are just going in with the puff and we are baking this powder on. Generally when you bake um, powder you then wipe it off but because we're going for a really white effect we're not gonna wipe it off. Just gonna leave it on. And if I were doing this makeup for a stage production this powder would also stop me from getting oily on stage. So, And it would keep my makeup in place. I'm just gonna use this brush to make this like even because it looks a little wild. Generally in this time they went for an extremely rosy cheek, like a red cheek. So first I'm going to go in with this Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, blush, which is mostly pinks, but this is just gonna be like our beginning stages. And I'm just using a stipple brush um, to really work it into the rest of the makeup. say in Shakespeare's time I don't know if it's just like the painters didn't know how to paint makeup or they were just really sloppy with their blush it's everywhere it's everywhere on the cheeks anyways but generally nowadays we're a bit more tame with the blush now I'm going to go in this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm taking an extremely red color so I'm gonna blow it off a lot but I'm going to be taking um, this love letter color right here and um we're going to very lightly put that into the cheeks. Now I kind of look like I just ran a marathon or like I'm about to overheat, so that's kind of what we're going for here. This one looks a lot darker than this one in the viewfinder, but it's just because of like the positioning of the window right now. They generally went for a very red lip. Um, this is the reddest lipstick that I have. Also, if you hear any weird noises, the people next door to me are moving out, so. Now, although the dye that they used may have been this red, I'm going to dilute it 
slightly. I'm going to take this L'Oreal lip gloss and just put it over the top to slightly dilute it. And like I said before, they used coal on their eyelashes generally, but because we're in the 21st century, we do not have mascara, so that's what I'm going to use. And this is the final look. I'll pull you guys in a little closer to show you what it really looks like. Um, I would not recommend recreating this look, but I did it for you so you don't have to. If I was in Shakespeare's time right now, I would be ready to hit up one of Shakespeare's plays. And in this day and age, I might be ready to hit the stage. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go wash my face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something. If not, you got enjoyment out of me looking like this. So, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!